Hello. A long time no no record. <laughs> um I have been pausing on doing videos because I want to I'm trying to get a actual video camera so I can get off my phone um for doing YouTube and, and stuff because um, I just don't have a lot of memory on my phone, even with a card. So, um, that's why I've been kind of non-existent on YouTube. Um, and hopefully we're going to get that stimulus, stimulus check, which is what I've been waiting for, uh, so I can purchase a camera that I've been looking at, um, <clears throat> one that isn't terribly expensive, but one that will let me do, um, you know, focus on being close up because I don't have a lot of space. So I need it to be able to be one of those that focuses close up. You know, I can't be like three feet away from my camera at this time. So anyways, um, I've been also waiting for this these kits to come back in stock and they have but um now i think i might have waited a little bit too long but i'm gonna do it because i've been procrast not procrastinating but i've been waiting long enough and i want to do it before i totally lose people who are interested so um excuse the boxes they got a little dirty um which is why i keep everything in my box until i'm you know, in their packaging until I'm ready to film so the products don't get damaged. So I have the Christopher Buckle Vanity Collection. I have uh, Volume 1 and I have Volume 2. And they have a couple of different items in them and I'll show which, which is which. So let's start with number 1 and then I have his website pulled up. So I can, another reason why I want to have a video camera so I can just use my phone and don't have to use my laptop. Um, but, you know, to look up items and stuff. So, here we go. So, the first collection you get, you open it up. And you get, you know, a little bit of cool little art and, you know. I don't know if it's directions or uh, tells you what's in the box. Oops, and my laptop just went off. All right, so first product you get is his foundation stick, and it says um, the triplicity perfecting foundation stick. And if you look over on his website, it's $22. It comes in eight different shades. Uh, the only one right now that is currently unavailable is um, the first one. And I will read what it actually says. Because they don't really give you any information um, in the box. It says, um, prime and blur and cover in one step. This three-in-one foundation stick prime skin. It provides buildable co coverage and has a soft focus effect. Triplicity glides on effort effortlessly. I can talk. Covering imperfections while it's priming core helps diminish the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. Versatile foundation provides Seamless coverage with a natural mash, matte fin finish, uh, not dry or cakey. The foundation stick perfects skin just in one step. So it, uh, three in one foundation formula. Priming core helps smooth the lock, uh, the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. Optical blurring ingredients provide a soft focus effect. Buildable coverage with natural matte finish, which I just said that. <laughs> um, 
and then the shade shade descriptions are as follows fair warm which is for fair skin with yellow undertones fair cool for fair skin with pink undertones fair uh, light warm for light skin with yellow undertones medium neutral medium skin with a balance of both pink and yellow undertones medium warm for medium skin with yellow golden undertones medium cool for medium skin with pink undertones tan warm for medium tan skin with yellow undertones and deep warm for medium deep skin with red brown undertones and the price for the stick alone um, if you just want to get that is $22 And let's come back over here. And I got I got two different form, uh, two different foundation colors because I've never used this before and I didn't know what I want what would work for me. And what this one is the neutral medium. And I did already swatch this, so it's not going to look totally pristine. But if you look at it, maybe if I turn the light off, hold on. I turn the light up maybe you can see it a little bit better see the core that's where the primer is and then around is where the um foundation turn my light back on and you just you know twist it up twist it down and let's do a swatch um Now, it is a warm, warmer tone for me. Um, very easy to open. And I'm going to kind of blend it in with my finger. I kind of got this because in the summertime, you know, if I get a tan, if I ever go outside and get a tan, this will be probably what I would wear. So even without a tan, let me turn that off, maybe it'll look a little better. That's where it is, so you can kind of see where the foundation is. It's really smooth. And gives a little bit of, I feel a little bit of not luminosity, but it doesn't look completely flat. But it's not like a, a real dewy type, type um, finish. Then you get the Power Lock Makeup Setting Spray. And this is a big boy. This is 2.19 milliliters. So it's a, it's a nice size bottle. Let me look. Uh, let me look up that product. Uh, setting spray. All right. And the Power Lock setting spray. Turn the light up. Is twenty dollars. And let's see. I was going to write all this stuff down, but I just figured it's easier just to show you on the website. Power Lock Makeup Setting Spray helps lock makeup into place for extended wear. This lightweight moisturizing formula uh, keeps makeup looking fresh while helping to control excess oil and shine. Developed to help prevent makeup from smudging, it also reduces the visual appearance of fine lines and pores for a natural com complexion finish. Helps makeup looking fresh. Can, da, 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 da. Um, a lightweight formula that isn't dry or sticky. Like I said, that is $20. And I mean, I'm not going to really. There's a little thing in there. And let's 
see how it sprays, shall we? Where am I? Uh, hope you can see that. So it's a nice fine mist. It um has a pleasant smell. It doesn't smell like um uh doesn't smell like hairspray or anything like that. Sometimes people say uh they had like a setting spray can have a real alcohol -y smell. Um, I don't, I don't smell that with this. Alright. Uh, next, I can get it out. Oh, it would help if I had nails. How many nails have been breaking on me? Next is his um, mascara. This is mascara. I like these type of ones. Let's see. Obviously this isn't black. Let me go up and get to the mascara. I hope everyone's doing good. I'm sorry I've been absent on here. Um, what the heck? Mm-hmm. Mascara, I don't see it. He might be out. He might be out of the mascara at the moment. Yeah. Looks like he's out. Let me go to the actual box. Maybe it will give me a description. Okay, the mascara is not listed. He must be out. Let's see. So what it says here in the kit, it says, Mascara, build up the base of the lashes by wiggling the wand at the root of the lashes and pull all the way out. So it doesn't really describe. That's a shame. Alright, well that's what happens. So he's currently out of this, or he's reformulating it or something. So I can't tell you the price. Um, next is... Here it goes. Um, dual ended liner and corrector. So, this is, this is a little handy little thing, which is, um, meant to be if you are doing, like, eyeliner and you kind of goof up and you have a, a little more, or you just kind of overdraw, this will erase it. And the cool thing about this, it's double-ended. So if this gets way too dirty and one in, you can flip it over and use the other end. I figured I'd like it so much that I bought another pack of two. There's two in here. Um, so let's go to that. And that's not listed either. Okay, you're out of that also. Um, on the other side is his felt tip eyeliner. And let's see. I am not a big lover myself 
of Vote to Thigh Letters. I'm doing that on purpose. Because, um, I like gel liners on myself. Let's see how that dries and see if it stays put. Can't tell you the price on this either, unfortunately. He's out of it. And then we have a lipstick. Oh. <laughs> this packaging definitely things don't go anywhere. Oh my goodness. fun. Oh, come here. I'm trying to get back over here. All right. So this is his cashmere slip long wear lipstick. And it's got six different colors that it comes in. $14. Full impact cover. Cashmere slip is a creamy, rich, pigmented lipstick. That delivers bold color for up to eight, uh, eight hours. Easy to apply with this luxurious formula. Glides on smooth and wears comfortably. And it comes in two, four, two, four, six. Yeah, six colors. A uh, doll is a cool baby doll pink. Tender is a nude praline. Kissed is a rich, cool rose. Dare is Hollywood starlet red. Renaissance, rich raspberry. And Obsessed is deep burgundy wine. And those are the colors up there. All really pretty. I don't know if I said how much they are. $14. All right. And this is in shade. Mm -hmm. Bordeaux. Did I read that? No, I did not read that. I don't know what Bordeaux is. Let me go back to the. Yeah, Bordeaux. Hmm. So. That is it. I have not swatched these. Let me see if turning that on would do anything for me. All right. Let's see. That kind of looks like a pinky kind of color. It's very soft. All right, that's that. So that is what is in kit one, and the kit itself is. It says it's an $84 value if you've got each individual item, and they are $29 for the kit, plus free shipping. So, that's a great deal. And I think he's actually having a everything on his site. Let's see. Reach it up. I'm sorry, this is not the most well executed video um 30 percent off his site with um the code 30 off <laughs> let's see and let's go back to the other kit we're gonna do kit two Oh, 
Oh, here we go. Look. You can get two of the cashmere slip duos and corrector duos um, for 26 so that's not bad. Considering the, um, um, the lip product is $14. That's a pretty good deal. Second one, and where are you? See, you know, if I had a vid my video camera, I could edit this and have it be less of a lull. <sighs> but whatever, what are you gonna do? You work with what you got, right? Okay. So, you get another foundation which I got a different shade you get another mascara which I'm not going to open because I don't want to open two um what do you get you get uh, eyeliner another cashmere slip I think it's a different color and then you get a this powder so let us see what this one has this is also a $29 box with the same value, beautiful dollar value, and this one is fair. The, there's that core primer again. This is a little lighter. And let's just see. My heater just went off. So this one is the one I would probably wear now, obviously, because I'm not tan. Turn the light off. So there's the warmer one. Here's this one. Um... I actually wrote him and asked him, because it didn't really say, although I kind of knew, but I wanted to double check, if his foundations are good for all skin, all skin types, you know. Um, he wrote me back, and he said that, um, I wanted to know if they're good for oily skin, and he said that they are, they are, they're made to work with everyone's skin, different, um, Different skin types, oily, dry. Alright, so this is his pencil liner. Let's see. Hey, look at that. Hey, I might be able to use that. My problem with watery eyeliner is it will bleed. My eyes are very watery, or my left eye is very watery, um, so that's why I don't typically use. Alright, good Christopher Buckle. I might be actually able to use that. I won't use it on clients, though, because I can't really sanitize that. So this is this pencil liner. Nice rich and black. And then on the other end, you have a smudge brush if you wanted to like smudge it up. I do that sometimes with um, just a regular brush, which kind of evens out my, my line sometimes. Like if your line, if your liner skips when you're putting it on, you take a brush and you kind of just go over it and kind of smooth it out. It helps a lot. Um, so that is that. Let me see if it is listed. 
Oops. So I can tell you a price. Let's see. Oh, it's a gel eyeliner. Okay. Nope, that's not available either. Alright, it's called Graphic Gel Liner. Okay, I'm happy about that. I'm actually happy about the liquid. Eyeliner too. I actually will try that. And this cashmere slip is in um, Renaissance. That's pretty. It's more like a pinky rose as opposed to this one, I think. Let me see. Let me put it up here. Oh my. That's pretty. I would I'd wear both of these colors. Okay. And then we have what's he got in here? I didn't realize that was in there. It says, nobody likes cakey foundation. That's why I created this wonderful soft blend blendable fan, fan, uh, formula to better maintain the shape of the foundation stick. Twist the tube up only as much as needed for a single application. After application, turn it down. Do not store in, in a place with high or low temperatures or in direct sunlight. Because... Being that it's a stick, it would probably melt. So, you don't want that. I don't want that. Okay, come on out. Get on the other. Put this away so I don't touch it. with a little sponge type thing. Let me get to the setting powder. Alright. This is Casting Call Loose Setting Powder. It's on sale for 18, normally 24. Oh. Mm. Set makeup and blur imperfections. Casting call translucent setting powder features a, bleh, a smooth and silk formula that sets makeup for longer wear and a soft focus blurring effect. Undetectable light powder decreases shine and blurs the looks of imperfections for a flawless looking uh, complexion. And these are all full size products that you get in the kits. So. It's a really, really good deal. Um, it's got a protector cover. So your powder won't get anywhere, which I like. He is a makeup artist, so a lot of this stuff he... Um, okay. okay. I think I might. Oh, it's got a little, the little netting. You can see that it's got the netting on it to keep the uh, powder from going everywhere, you know? Let's see. That's what it looks like. Let's do it. Over there. I'm going to do it over one of the foundations. Now, honestly, you'd be using either this little powder puff or you'd use a brush obviously let me try the powder puff it, fit, it does feel really silky I'm gonna be honest with you Ooh, I can't wait to try that it does, has like a silky He's not lying when he says silky slip. Alright, and this is how big is it? 0.37 ounces. 
and so it's a it's a nice size. Okay, so that is what I've been trying to wait for and do a video on. Sorry, it's taking me so long. Probably wasn't very exciting to you, <laughs> but if you've never tried his products and you've never heard of him, I definitely say you know give it a go and if you wanted to are curious about trying more than more than one product definitely go on his website and uh take advantage of the kits if you can um if they offer the foundation in your your shade um i want i want one of these for like everybody i think like all my clients i could totally see me using this for them i also asked him if um because i am a makeup artist i don't like to i have to sanitize his products so i asked him if um spraying the foundations with alcohol uh is okay or would it would change the formula and he said it should, should be fine but what he does is he takes these and he takes a little spatula and kind of skims off a little bit and puts it on his palette and uses them that way but so it was cool that he answered that question also i'm going to mix these two together to see if it will give me what combination it gives me. That's a good tip for you sometimes if you can't find your actual foundation. Um, here's the warm, here's the cool, here's both of them mixed together. Probably not equally, but um, yeah, if you can't find the foundation that you can match yourself completely with, mix mix two that's what you do as a makeup artist is you don't have 50 different shades you mix them right, let me see turn the light back on maybe kind of blows it up can't see it with the light on I don't have my ring light up today. It's too lazy. I just wanted to get this up because it's been long enough. I can't see. That is the gel. And it doesn't move. Excellent. Excellent. I like that. Again, for me, myself, I have that watery eye. doesn't really move either. Kind of does because I didn't really share it out. Alright. So, Christopher Buckle. Here we go. <laughs> and hopefully my next video will be with an actual video camera and I can start doing different style videos and just showing you swatches um all right thanks for watching and i'm sorry it was so long and just not really put together well but what are you gonna do <laughs> all right bye